poetry is a very important element in writing about the visual arts. One has to balance it because sometimes you don't have enough space to go into what you'd like to say. Um, sometimes you know that uh, your editor is going to butcher what you're writing anyway because they don't think that it uh, merits. My opinion is that for, for artists, don't assume that the writers know everything. So for the future, try and educate them. Try, try and educate them about, about your work and, specific and, and, and be as specific as possible. The sculpture is powerful. Powerful has very different connotations to everyone. So I think giving it a little bit of context, powerful in what sense? Powerful in what did the artist try to achieve? Powerful in what did it draw from you? So in giving, giving life to the word powerful, you're actually able to now have the reader see from your point of view and if there is a quote from the artist about that particular work, they will also be able to see it from the artist's point of view. And from it, they'll be able to make their own judgment. We are in a generation, we are in a community, we are in a culture where people are not appreciating their own. And when people come from outside and see what Kenyans and Africans have, they are really clinging and fighting for it. So my concern is that how do we change this perspective? Awareness among people, I think again, it's upon all of us. We do want to enable artists to uh, sustain themselves, to make enough money that they can actually live comfortably. And this is always a challenge. And I think that, you know, this is why there's a lot of advocacy for mixing entrepreneurship with the arts.